G'day, it's Darren from Everything Micro FPV, and today we're going to be going through how to set up the Beta FPV Light Radio 2 Express LRS Edition. First of all, this is a little different to setting up a normal Express LRS transmitter. And the reason for that is the firmware for Express LRS is meshed into the firmware for the radio controller itself, and you're going to need to use the Beta FPV Light Radio Configurator in order to set it up. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go to the Beta FPV website and download the configurator. This is the Light Radio 2 SE transmitter. So click on that. And then on the page you'll see download Beta FPV configurator. It'll take you to a GitHub repository. Then you download the configurator specifically for your operating system. And if you are using the Windows version, you'll need to run anyway for Windows Defender. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a USB-C cable and we're going to plug it in the bottom. You can see that powers up. We've got that loading. Firmware is not the latest version, please upgrade it on the firmware flasher. Okay, so what we're going to do is connect. Hey, it's Darren from the future. I stuffed around for quite a bit of time trying to get the configurator to connect to the servers to download the firmware. The easier way to do it is just go to the GitHub and download that firmware manually and then flash it. So let's do that. So we're going back to GitHub and what we're going to do is download the firmware. We want this one here, Light Radio 2 SE. So we're going to download that. Go back here, we're going to hit load firmware local, go to our down wherever we downloaded that, light radio 2, we're going to select the file, firmware loaded successfully, so power off, now we need to do the magical firmware update dance. So we're going to power, we're going to power off the radio transmitter, we're going to hold the setup and the power and then the power on button, the LED light will be a solid blue and not red. So I'm going to hold setup, and then we're going to hold power on. So it's blue, awesome. Install the drivers. So if you can connect your OpenTX radio to your computer, so any other radio, if that's connecting to your computer, if you're connecting your flight controllers to your computer, you've already done all the driver stuff that you need to do in terms of the STM32 drivers and the Zadig drivers. So you don't need to necessarily worry about that here. So we've released it. Um, we're going to plug the cable in. And we can see that's on COM4 going to connect and now I'm going to hit flash firmware got to press that that you got to press that connect button otherwise you're going to stand there looking silly programming successful I'm going to go back to welcome I'm going to hit connect RC and we're back on and we can see that we've got the latest firmware version so some of the things that you're going to want to set up is you want to leave this RF module stuff as it is. Now the important thing here is, conf is configure configuring your mixer. We're going to go into Betaflight and we're going to connect up a flight controller. One, and you want to use one that you've already set up Express LRS with. If you go into the receiver tab, you'll notice here you've got the channel map. And when it is connected, Basically, what we want to do is make sure the channel map in the Beta FPV configurator matches the channel map that we use on all of our quads. So make sure that channel map, we've got ATER1234. I'm going to head back into the light radio too, and then we want to change this to be ATER like we had. So you've got A. And channel 5 is that's channel 5, channel 6, channel 7, and channel 8. Now, some of the other things you might want to do telemetry ratio, leave that if you want. 
The most important one that I think is really, really important to have, especially for ExpressOS, the most important thing you want to do is to enable the binding phrase. Binding phrase in, I just use my name. And then it also says here, if you use an SBI ELRS receiver, go to the Betaflight CLI and paste the following commands. Set ExpressLRS UID. Basically, what this is converting, what this is doing is converting your binding phrase into numbers. But you don't necessarily need to do um, to do that if you're using any other ExpressLRS receiver. It's only the SBI ones which are built into the flight controller themselves. And from here, we're going to hit save and reboot. Done. So now let's do the ultimate test to see if this works. I have here a the Flywoo Baby Nano. This is using the Flywoo external Express LRS receiver. As you can see there, it's got the SMD antenna. And effectively what we want to do is just to make sure this works, we're going to plug in a LiPo. Let's put our battery in. Well, I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.